Kim Kardashian was recently spotted desperately trying to get Drake's attention at his concert, and Kanye West is now sharing his feelings about Drake's bizarre relationship with the Kardashians. <laughs> Drake was previously romantically linked to at least three Kardashian women, including momager Kris Jenner. And now that Kim and Drake sparked romance rumors again, fans are wondering if these two are once again trying to provoke Kanye. So what's the deal with Drake and Kim? And what did Kanye say about Drake's relationship with the Kardashians? Let's break it down. You know what it means. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, and I put like, Corey know what it means. <laughs> From calling Kylie Jenner his side piece to rumors about hooking up with both Kim and Kris Jenner, Drake always had a very close and borderline creepy relationship with the Kardashians. Drake has been a family friend of the Kardashians since Kendall and Kylie were teenagers, and he actually performed at Kylie's sweet 16th birthday party. And then in 2019, just weeks after Kylie broke up with Travis Scott, Drake and Kylie were spotted getting cozy at his birthday party, with Us Weekly later confirming that Kylie and Drake's friendship took a romantic turn. And while Kylie never confirmed or denied these reports, Drake referred to Kylie as his side piece in an unreleased song with Future. Drake later apologized, saying the song shouldn't have been played, and said, last thing I'd want to do is wake up having any friends of mine feeling disrespected. But notice he didn't apologize for calling Kylie his side piece, which pretty much confirmed what fans had already suspected about their relationship. But Kylie isn't the only member of the Car Jenners who deserves the title of Drake's side piece, because Drake also reportedly hooked up with Kim and Chris. Rumors about Kim and Drake first started swirling shortly after Kim and Kanye's wedding, and Kanye apparently had a long-standing suspicion that Kim cheated on him with Drake. These rumors reached a boiling point amid Drake's feud with Kanye's friend and collaborator Pusha T, who famously exposed Drake for hiding his son on the diss track the story had added on. Drake believed that Kanye told Pusha about his son, and though Kanye denied this, Drake apparently started plotting to take revenge on Kanye by exposing his affair with Kim. Back in September 2018, Kim's ex, Nick Cannon, said during an interview that it's not that hard to believe that Drake hooked up with Kim. Nick explained that there's something really personal Drake holds over the Kardashian family, implying that this was the reason Kanye didn't want Drake's beef with Pusha to escalate. And when DJ Academics later posted this clip of Nick on his Instagram, he wrote in the caption, let's keep it 100. We all believe that Drake was going to expose that he smashed Kim Kardashian on that diss song to Pusha T that never dropped. Don't tell me I'm the only one who thought this. Well, me and Nick. Meanwhile, Drake kept throwing shots at Kanye and dropping hints that something happened between him and Kim. In July 2018, Drake's song In My Feelings came out, and there was a lot of speculation that Kiki mentioned in the song is Kim Kardashian. And though Drake and Kim both stayed silent on these rumors, Kim did previously admit in a tweet that her nickname is Kiki. At this point, Kanye had had enough, and he called out Drake for deliberately fueling rumors about him and Kim. Kanye blasted both Drake and Nick Cannon on Instagram Live, and claimed that Drake knew exactly what he was doing by mentioning Kiki. First of all, I want to address Nick Cannon. Like, I understand that uh, you used to date my wife, but you know, you get in an interview, don't mention my wife. If someone brings my wife up, you say, hey, I respect that man, I'm not speaking on that. Don't be making no suggestions like nobody. The fact that it's people making rumors or thinking that you my wife and you're not saying nothing and you carrying it like that, that don't sit well with my spirit. You know, if I had a girlfriend from Chicago, her name was Renita, and then you was married to Rihanna, I wouldn't make no song called Riri. So when you're like, oh, I don't know where it come from, you're too smart for that, bro. You know where that come from. Finally, Kim decided to break her silence on all these speculations, and she commented on a video of DJ Academics and Nick Cannon talking about her and Drake and wrote, never happened, end of story. But after Kim filed for divorce from Kanye, she seemingly realized that the rumors about her and Drake could come in handy, and the Kardashian PR machine started pushing stories about Drake pursuing Kim. One Kardashian source told Heat Magazine at the time that Drake could never understand what Kim saw in Kanye, and he was saying for years how he wasn't the right guy for Kim, and it would all end in tears. The insider also claimed that Drake started messaging Kim the moment it became clear that the divorce was inevitable, adding, he's ready to see her whenever she says the word, basically, and he's confident that will happen fairly soon. Kim was loving the publicity from these rumors, and considering all the stunts she pulled during the divorce battle, she was probably pushing the stories about her and Drake herself to antagonize Kanye. 
But Kanye wasn't staying silent either, and he ended up exposing Drake for hooking up with none other than Kris Jenner. It all started in October last year when Kanye mentioned Drake in an Instagram post and wrote, Drake, a F ya baby mama's mama. That's real war. A lot of people were initially confused by what Kanye meant by this. However, fans on Twitter quickly put two and two together, saying Kanye was most likely alluding to the rumors about Drake being the father of Kylie's second baby, while at the same time exposing Drake for sleeping with Chris, aka his baby mama's mama. One fan said Kanye is probably right about this. Baby mama's mama? So does that mean Kylie had Drake's child? Makes sense, kind of explains why she has kept the little child hidden. Kanye was later asked to explain his post during his appearance on Drake Chats, and though he didn't address rumors about Drake being Kylie's baby daddy, he pretty much confirmed that Drake hooked up with Chris. You said in war he helped your baby's mother's mother? Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> that was hard. What is that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 we yeah. was confused. You know what it means. So, <laughs> and, and I put like, Corey know what it means. So, um... <laughs> After this, Drake seemingly retaliated by sampling Kim's speech about her divorce from Kanye on his track, Search and Rescue. I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Okay. Remember yeah. that. You didn't come this far just to come this My far. My doll yeah. Since the audio was taken from a 2021 KUWTK episode in which Kim opened up to Chris about her divorce, fans speculated that Kim had to approve this sample and she probably gave permission to Drake to use it, hoping it would mess with Kanye's head. And now on top of all this, it looks like Kim is once again trying to stir the pot as she was recently spotted at Drake's concert in LA shouting the words from the search and rescue sample. <laughs> So what did Kanye say about Kim and Drake seemingly trying to provoke him again? Well, sources are saying Ye is totally over Kim and Drake's petty attempts to provoke him, and he's not going to give them the satisfaction of responding. Insiders close to Kanye also revealed that Kanye thinks this just proves he's been right all along. Do you think Drake really hooked up with more than one Kardashian? And is Kim again trying to provoke Kanye by using Drake? Let us know in the comments.